we're very lucky to have all these roles filled with the great actors, starting with you tell. He's in every scene. Emotionally, as an actor, it's a rigorous workout. You can't imagine how difficult it was to do what he had to do. And he was amazing. Solomon's journey is an odyssey, and it spreads over 12 years, and he encounters all these different people, and so it became this huge cast of great actors. Michael Fassbender. They brought this on me. Benedict Cumberbatch. Well, I'll admit to being impressed, even if you won't. Paul Dano, Paul Giamatti. Platt! My name. Your name is Platt. Repeat Nyong'o. 500 pounds of cotton, day in, day out. More than any man here. Scoot McNeary, Michael K. Williams, Brad Pitt. That what is true and right is true and right for all. White and black alike. Adepero Duye, Sarah Paulson, Alfred Woodard. You know, the list was endless. It was, it was different people were coming in, and that was an amazing part of the filmmaking process. Mr. Ford. Splendid seeing you, sir. What catches your fancy? This land is very brawny, yeah? How much are the ones Platt and Eliza? I play the character William Ford, who has a plantation. He's a man of God, and he's regarded by a lot of people in the area, a lot of accounts, not just Solomon's, as being a very good man. As far as anyone with a 21st century view, and it can be a good man. My great thanks, Master Ford. My thanks to you. There's a certain sensibility about Benedict which translates very, very, very well for that character, Ford. Because there's a duality, there's a caring, but at the same time there's a weakness. And he has to try, somehow make sense with it. He's somebody who's tortured, really, by his own self-awareness. He completely understands the inhumanities of what is going on, and he has a care for human beings as the souls and children of God. It's no longer safe for you here. My name is John Tibbetts, William Ford's chief carpenter. You will refer to me as master. I talked to Paul a lot about Tibbetts because I just didn't want to make him a one-dimensional character. I got the impression, and I talked to Paul about it, that Tibbetts is a person who has been brutalized too. My character is not likable, and when I first read it, it felt a little daunting, but you just look into the person and try and find why they might be like that. I thought you knowed something. I did as instructed. There's something wrong. It's wrong with the instruction. And once you step foot on the set, a lot of the work starts to happen for you just because you see what Solomon looks like in those clothes and we're out there in the heat working away. I will have flesh and I will have all of it. <laughs> to do that character of Eliza is very difficult because she has to be in a state of despair for most of her performance. And to pull that off is pretty mean feat. Stop! Stop the wailing! You let yourself be overcome by sorrow, you will drown in it. Have you stopped crying for your children? What I have to keep reminding myself of during shooting, when it was really challenging, is the fact that we're portraying people that actually lived. I read a lot of the slave narratives. I looked at a lot of pictures. Anything I can do to just immerse myself in that time period and get first-hand accounts. And that servant shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. Solomon is purchased by my husband, Mr. Epps, who is capable of enormous cruelty and is famous for this. Speak! Man does how he pleases with his property. It's not good for him there. Well, I saw her audition and that was it. It's Mrs. Epps. Master bought you here to work, that's all. Anymore, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. She was written in such a way that it was very clear to me that there was no way for me to try to soften her or to make her anything other than what she was and that the story couldn't be told properly unless I really went there. And I had to just try to get into the mindset of a person who believed these things. Look at them. They foul with it. They foul with their hate. You let it be, it's gonna come back to us in the dark of night. And of course, Michael Fassbinder, there's no one else who could play that role, really. It's just like Chiwetel, he's extraordinary. Well, he won't stand idle, boy. Not on my land. It's an immediate disliking, because Epps feels inadequate around Solomon, funnily enough. And that's very much the root of their relationship. Um, Solomon just has to sort of follow orders, basically. And it's a dancing game. You come here. Master Epps! I said come here! 
but he's essentially obsessed with Patsy. Queen of the field, she is. Patsy is a young slave girl on Master Epps' plantation. She is the object of the master's affection and cruelty. He's madly in love with her, and he takes it out on her violently. You're doing this to yourself, Pats. Lupita is a complete newcomer, straight out of drama school, and so bright and so poise and prep is really impressive. It was a dream come true to get to work with Michael on my first film. What gets captured on camera is what is actually happening in the scene. So he's terrifying, but he's also really a gentle person in real life, which made it safe to do the things I had to do with him. I ain't got no comfort in this life. If I can't buy mercy from you, I'll beg it. I was not disappointed that I was down in the swamps in tons of petticoats and sweat rolling down and bugs biting me to be with Steve. I wanted to spend months with him doing that because he communicates in a way that you can actually use. He expects you to bring a lot to the moment and then he tweaks it. It's like having your own personal maestro. I felt the end of a lash and more years I can't recall. This movie had the great benefit of people calling us and felt committed to seeing this film get made. I'm so proud of how this movie was cast. When you look at it and you think, oh my god, these are just amazing actors, one after the next. I love working with actors. I don't want people to come and do their thing and leave. It's about grappling with the material, getting the performance, having a moment of truth, as it were. And that's what we got. And what more can you ask for?